Hey, Virgos. So this is for Virgos who are dealing with uh, Libra for the month of August 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Tarotbarbie.com. Let's get it. Virgos coming with the Two of Wands, the Empress, and the Five of Wands in reverse. A lot of you guys are planning your focus on your future Virgos and it's time for you guys to get away from the past especially if this person it was not treating you all that great or you guys caught this person doing some crazy shit towards you behind your back at the end of the day you guys will have the love and the support that you guys are needing with the four of wands seven of swords in reverse to the two of wands you're dropping everything and you're moving on with your life two of wands upright Virgos a lot of you guys are planning on planning a trip planning on making a move maybe going on a road trip here as well but you're staying more so focused on what not to be allowing back into your life. It's time for you guys to be stepping into that Empress energy. Some of you guys might be mothers here. This person's going to come back. And the crazy thing about it is, is that they're going to try and come back towards you when they see that you've officially let go and moved on. When you finally take back your power, when you finally step back into your grace and, and step into that woman energy or that male energy and being like I don't deserve this shit like I don't deserve to be mistreated I don't deserve to have somebody uh, talk to me a certain way you know so when this person comes back for you Virgos they're going to be all apologetic they're going to be like I'm sorry I just shouldn't have done what I did I shouldn't have let you wait for me that long I shouldn't have I shouldn't have and I shouldn't have but in in reality Virgos it doesn't matter what they should have have done or what they should have could have would have they didn't and now they're back here to offer you this little apology to make that offer back to you again, hoping that you're going to be able to forgive them. And some of you may forgive them. And, you know, they've been really sad. And I don't think this person understands how much it may have taken you to actually pretty much call it a day and say, you know what, I'm, I'm done over with it. You have people who are loving you, who care about you, friends, family, who are going to support you with the, five, with the four of one energy and to help you as well to move forward and to move on, especially to teach you what you're worth and what you deserve uh, from a partner, uh, with, with, from, 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 from a partner, okay? Uh, however, though, they're sad. They're not feeling it right now. They feel pretty bad about it. When this person comes back for you guys, Virgos, some of you guys are going to end up arguing with them. You're not trying to argue with them, but it's like almost anything that you can say to this person when you, they don't agree with you, it just automatically turns into an argument. And you're kind of like telling them like, yeah, okay, like I get, I get what you're trying to say, but it's still not going to work out for me. Six of wands in reverse and this Libra is not going to be able to handle it. They're going to like put their foot down and be like, no, this is what I want. This is how I want to communicate. This is what I have, want to say to you. But in reality, you're not feeling it. Six of wands in reverse. You know damn well that... There may not actually be a second chance in this situation between you and your Libra just because of the fact that just because of the fact that you guys know what your worth is finally. And if you guys continue to allow this person to mistreat you, disrespect you, leave you, hurt you, cheat on you, then the less they're gonna respect you. And the only reason why they're coming at you this hard now is because you've actually turned your back on them. It's very hard for this person to access your energy and when they realize that and they see that, I really believe that this person will actually start going crazy. Uh, King of Wands, Page of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. So this person didn't want to commit to you. You're the Ten of Cups. You're everything and more. You're a wish fulfillment. You're the happiness. You bring a home. You can make a family. You can have everything in the world. But because they were so childish and immature with the way that they communicate to you about their feelings, the way that they didn't want to show you that they wanted to be in a commitment, the way that they didn't want to be non-committal and they were being evil and mean to you for no reason, Virgos, this person's never going to change your heart. You're always going to be that sweet, loving person maybe one day this person will get their shit together but as of right now I do believe that you guys are going to take a time out with the four of swords and really go within really turn into solitude and hermit and maybe want to explore life and wanting to go to new journeys for yourself with the full card like yeah you see other opportunities yeah you just want to enjoy your life it's summertime now you kind of want to explore do your thing and be just genuinely happy Virgos for that four of swords I don't believe you guys are going to be going back into this connection at least not right now uh, this person is going to be partying drinking and everything but the only reason why they're doing that is because they know the relationship has ended with the ten of swords the only reason why it's ending now Virgos is because you guys are putting an ending to it and when they realize that they are going to have to go party they're going to drink they're going to go spend time with 
fam uh, with friends and and spend a lot of fucking money but that's only because of the fact that you guys learn to listen to your intuition and you're going silent on this person because you're going to allow your intuition to more so guide you regarding this and to stop putting yourself in a position to allow anyone to mistreat you especially if they want to treat you good one day leave you uh sleep with you run back to wherever the fuck they was before uh hurt you neglect you so now they're not going to be able to handle it anymore sweethearts they're going to be stressed out chaotic sleepless nights this person is not is going to have a very hard time eating like by the time this person may come back towards you guys again, you might notice that they've lost about 5, 10 pounds. They're going to come back a little bit more skinnier than before. Before they were maybe like fluffy or they were masculine or they were, you know, a little bit fluffy on the feminine side. It's not a big deal. But with the amount of stress that this person is going through, they may legit lose weight. Cherry card, they're coming back for you, Virgos. They're going to try and fight back for the connection because they know that they hurt you really badly. Not only did they hurt themselves badly, not only did they hurt you badly, but they also hurt themselves because they do genuinely love you very, very much. You guys are pretty pissed off with this situation now because you know damn well that this person left you to go be with a karmic and you're not going to tolerate that. Queen of Swords, you're putting your foot down. And yes, you may miss them and everything like that, but there is no movement. Nothing is happening. So during the full moon for the month of, uh, this is coming in for the month of August, but in the month of July, what had happened was you guys ended up making a sacrifice to yourselves, which means that no matter how much you miss this person, you're not going to bring yourself back to somebody from the past who didn't treat you well. So you guys learning to say, you know what, my sacrifice is going to be that I'm not going to talk to somebody who's not going to reciprocate my energy. I'm not going to talk to somebody who's not going to, who's going to disrespect me. That's a sacrifice that you're choosing to make for yourself so that way you can vibrate at a high vibration, vibrate at a high frequency, so that way you can attract the deserving love that you potentially need for yourself, right? So that would have been in the month of July during the full moon energy. But now coming into the month of August now, this all this is going to end up happening. All right, Virgos? So just be aware of that energy. So because you guys are staying silent, you're not doing anything, you're staying quiet, you're listening to your intuition, this person, the Libra is going to come rushing back towards you because they see that you're, you're successful, you're abundant, you're living your life, you're getting the bag, you're doing your thing, and they're not going to be able to handle it at all. They're not going to be able to handle it at all. And they're going to try and find a way to come back and communicate with you, talk to you, tell you, like, hey, I want to see you, I want to talk to you, let, let me just see you face to face. But the cycle is officially done and over with. It's the world card. They took you for granted. They did not respect you. They did not treat you properly. Your Libra is, in fact, facing judgment. I mean, whoa. The, oh, Virgo. Oh, this is a little bit serious now. <laughs> And because of their quick decisions and their impulsive ways and the fact that they had the audacity to actually mistreat you and take you for granted and not give you what you needed at the time that they had had you, now they're going to be facing judgment, which means they are going to be going through karma. They should never have done that to you. The cycle is complete. The world card there. Oh, Virgo. Oh, oh my God. I can't believe this is happening right now. <laughs> Holy shit. I was really going into it. Oh, my God. And that was way... Oh, my God. This is too much. See, Virgos, they're facing judgment at the moment. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, Libras, I just want you to know that you fucked up on all of them. <laughs> You're going through judgment right now, Libra. I want you to know that the cycle is, is done between you and your Virgo because you did not appreciate your Virgo at all whatsoever when you were with them and you kept taking flight and you kept running away and you acted like you didn't want to be in a relationship when you were in such a beautiful connection like you had everything in the world with this person and you honestly sabotaged it i feel so sad for you libra and if this is a virgo who did that i also feel very sad for you too because you really <sighs> this was a connection that was meant to help you meant to heal you meant to help you grow spiritually uh in all areas of your life and you took them for granted. Judgment and justice would be the fact that your time is up. You didn't change for the better. You didn't want to level up yourself to raise your vibration at a higher frequency to meet your partner. You didn't want to do that. 
So judgment's being called in, the world card and the justice card and the magician and the high priestess. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, five. <laughs> That's five major arcanas in one setting, meaning these are going to be big life-changing life-changing transformations that are going to be coming in for you guys, Virgos, meaning one ending is coming to an end and then a new beginning is going to be coming for a lot of you guys, especially if you guys choose to leave this alone, let it go, and and honestly just do your own thing with the Nine of Pentacles. Your Libra knows that they're facing judgment at the moment. They also know that if they don't make judgment right now and, and quickly fix their ways, they could end up in a catastrophe, literally a catastrophe, Virgos, because they're going to try and do everything they can with the Two of Cups or the Magician card to get you back. But judgment and justice is stepping into the relationship between the two of you guys. It's like, you're not going to hurt my baby. You're not going to hurt my child. You're not. The universe is literally on your side, and the universe is literally saying, if you can't get your shit together there, Libra, then you're going to have to come to us. We're Meaning, we're keeping Virgos at right here. Virgos are right here. Judgment. And then you're right there. In order to get to Virgo, you're going to have to go through karma plus judgment and to look within, to look at your actions, to look at how you ended up in a situation like this when they, when judgment and the universe had placed this person into your life to better you, to better you, to help you raise your vibration. But you didn't do it. You didn't do it. You ended up taking them for granted. World card, page of swords. Now this person is trying to figure out how in the world they're going to come back towards you and get this relationship back. But in the end, their mind is all fucked up. They're stressed. They're having anxiety. They're trying to talk to probably your brethren, if other family members to find a way to get you back. They're going through a lot of chaos right now. Like literally a catastrophe is what's happening for this person. It's not a tower. It's not a tower. But I can see a tower coming out of the situation, especially with the Eight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. I can see that being a tower, mostly because of the fact that this person is going to want every, want you back. They're passionately still in love with you. They still want to be with you. They're worried that you're going to end up getting, being scooped up by somebody else who could have, who will end up being able to give you what they lacked to give you. <clears throat> so now they're going to try and figure it out, Virgos. They got it. They, they're, they're going back and forth, back and forth. Like, how am I supposed to figure this out? But they're realizing, like, you're good on your own. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Like, you're still successful. You're still abundant. You've still got your money. You're still doing your thing. You're still manifesting. And the universe is coming to bless you up because instead of you saying, you know what, I'm going to take this person back after everything they've done to me, no matter how much this Libra or Virgo t t decides to talk to you, you said, you know what, I understand you're trying to communicate with me, King of, King of Swords, but Page of Pentacles... I don't see this relationship going anywhere, Six of Wands, right? And because you honestly said that and you spoke that up to this Libra or Virgo, because you actually chose to put yourself first, the universe is now bringing in a blessing for you, which will be much more happiness. Nine plus the one equals a Ten of Cups. You are emotionally fulfilled on your own. With the Ten of Pentacles, that's 1010. A lot of you guys are going to be seeing the numbers 999, 888, 222, and the most likely 1010. A completion is now coming in Virgos for a lot of you guys, so I'm pretty sure 2121. They keep showing me, okay, and they're what they're saying is 1010 is more important than all those other numbers that I just mentioned for you guys. 1010. The cycle is over. A new cycle is going to be coming in for you. And this person is not going to be able to come into this part of your life. That cycle with that Lib the cycle with this Libra, sadly to say, Virgos and Libras, I'm sorry to hurt your feelings. The cycle is over. Virgos or your Libras, whoever chose to end up putting, calling it a day and choosing themselves, you guys are going to have much, much more blessings coming towards you. Which means now is that. Once you start seeing the numbers, repeated numbers, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, everywhere, 10, 10. After the numbers you start seeing of 10, 10, 10, 10, everywhere, you're going to start seeing the numbers 1, 1, 1, 11, 11. So make sure you keep your positive, your thoughts positive, because all your thoughts are going to manifest at a very high frequency. Because one cycle of your life is officially over while a new one is, to get to, is about to get prepared and brand new and coming into your life. So once this 1010 10 comes in, a couple weeks later, a month later, you're going to start seeing the numbers 111, 11, 11, right? Or 1212 12 for that matter, or even 3, 3, 13, 13. Uh, yeah. 
All right, and then opportunities are going to be coming towards you. Seven of Cups. And things are going to start picking up a lot more faster for you. And you guys are going to go directly into hermit mode, Virgos. This person's going to end up with a lot of problems, a lot of stress, a lot of baggage. And they're not going to know what to do because you're officially gone. You're gone. You're, there's no turning back in the situation. As much as I would love to say to you guys, Virgos, oh, there's hope. Nah, Virgos, I'm so sorry to say it. You're packing your shit up and you're honestly leaving. Some of you guys are planning to make a move. Literally moving homes, moving states, moving countries. You're looking towards the future now and the unknown is not going to fear you and it's not going to scare you either you guys are well prepared for this new opportunity that's coming towards you ace of wands you did everything you guys can to fight for this beautiful connection that you had with your libra but no matter what had happened virgos things were just not working out for cups they're gonna try and come back for you and hope that they can build the cycle all over again with you again with the world card with the wheel with the wheel card but it's not going to happen. It's a tower card. It's done and over with. You guys are holding yourselves back and you're quickly going to be moving on with your life, Virgos, because that's exactly where you guys are going with the Ten of Wands, Six of Swords, and the Three of Wands. You're literally making a move. You're going to the future. That's it. You're done with the present and you're done with the past. Too many opportunities is, is more than you should have probably have given this person. Especially when you gave them an opportunity, they still messed up. You gave another one, you say... When's enough going to be enough is what I'm hearing. When's enough going to be enough? Well, enough is enough now for the month of August. You guys are ready to make a move, all right? <laughs> in the month of July, a lot of you guys probably already started making that move. So in the month of August, you guys are going to be officially where you guys are needing to be at that exact moment. So Virgos, you guys are pulling your energy back. This is coming to a complete ending, but this ending had to happen in order for you to get you receive your happiness with the sun card. It was probably the best decision that you could have honestly have made for yourselves. With that Knight of Pentacles, you know what you bring to the table. You're going to take that pentacle that you have that you would have loved to give to that Libra and you're going to give it to yourself instead because you owe yourself the world. You owe yourself the happiness. You owe yourself to have to see things clearly. You owe yourself to put the work into you to, to make sure that you can get the things that you are needing, especially when this person couldn't give you anything that they, that, that they tried to offer you, right? you're going directly into the sun card. You're, you're, <laughs> you're going straight to the sun card, Virgos. You're going towards your happiness. And you're leaving this person behind. But they're still going to try to come back and get you anyway with the King of Cups or the Six of Pentacles. A lot of you guys might be meeting a new person who's going to actually be able to give to you. But I am seeing that this person is going to try and come back for you anyway and try and express to you their feelings. Like This person's really going to know what it feels like to actually lose you. Because once you're gone, you're gone forever, and they're not going to get the same version of you twice. They lost that opportunity. They lost that chance. So it's done and over with. And even when it's done and over with, they're still going to try and come back. They're going to do whatever they can to get you, Virgo. It's going to drive them so fucked up and so crazy. Like, they may honestly start be doing drugs, drinking a whole lot, not knowing what to do. But you're good. You're always going to stay by the angels. You're staying away from the, the devil energy. You're staying away from destructive energy, the addictions, the loss, right? This person has to stop going within their ego uh, and trying to hold the power, trying to hold you accountable. Somebody here likes to blame you and take and, and, and like somebody here, like they like to blame you Virgos for the shit that's happened. But in reality, it's not actually your fault or Libra's fault. Whoever is the one that's doing the blaming, it's not you guys' fault. They have no one else to blame. They can't blame themselves because that means it makes them look like they're guilty. Like they're taking... They, but they can't. And that's why the Emperor to the Strength card is there. Is because this person's trying to control you and hold some sort of power over you. Maybe some of you guys may have been with this person for a good seven years, seven months, whatever the fuck what. But this person, yeah, delusional Virgo. This person's absolutely delusional for them to think that they're going to be able to get you back. They're going to be like, I want to get married. I want to get married. Because you probably may have talked to this person about marriage, children, whatever. And they like they laughed it off, whatever the fuck what. And they know that the only way for them to actually get you back is if they honestly talk to you about marriage. Literally talk to you about marriage. But I want you guys to know it's like an intimidation tactic. It's like uh, gaslighting. They're trying to gaslight you to make you believe that they want to get married to you. And they don't want you to see them for who they really are. So they're going to do everything they can to manipulate you and act like, yeah, they left everybody behind. They only want to be with you. I only want to be with you, Virgo. I stopped my drinking. I stopped everything. 
<sighs> but in actuality, they don't. What what's hidden is that they don't want to be married, and the hidden truth is that they don't want to be married. They just don't want to see you end up with anybody else. Thanks, Virgos. Bye.